almost felt like that thing was here, I was here, and I'll be moving through time, but so would that. Like it would always feel like my manifestation was just ahead of me, but I would never quite embody it, never quite realize it, never quite receive that manifestation. So if right now you're going through anything where maybe your manifestations are taking some time, maybe you're even questioning, are you doing manifestation right? Are you doing the law of attraction right? Maybe you've seen all these other techniques online, law of assumption, Neville Goddard's principles, the whisper technique, all these different crazy TikTok or different manifestation techniques. You're trying different ones, but it's not quite working out. Why is that? Well, I can pretty much guarantee that if you embody what I share with you in this video today, your life will never be the same. Your manifestations will quite literally happen before your eyes. And I know as I say this, this sounds like some gassed up video where I'm just bigging up this thing where actually is it gonna work for me? The reason why I'm gassing it up so much, the reason why I'm so excited to share this with you is because it's worked for me. And when I say work for me, I don't just mean, oh yeah, once I manifested like a, uh, a penny on the floor and manifestation works. I genuinely mean, since embodying this properly, not only have I been able to be traveling the world, working on doing these, doing different events to help people to literally expand their life, up-level their consciousness, up-level their everything in the spiritual game, but also I've been way more busier than I was over these past few years, but I've been present. I've been fulfilled. I've been actually enjoying everything that I'm doing, like, li like literally living in this moment properly. Now, I'm not sharing all of this to, to, to brag or to say, look what I've done. I'm sharing this to show you what this thing has done for me to let you know that if it's worked for me, it can work for you too. And actually, another thing that I wanna say that I just thought of is even the other day, my girlfriend also is, is following this, this principle as well. And I think the other day, what was it? Yeah, around a week ago, but in that time, she also manifested over $10,000. I think it was closer to $15,000 she manifested in that time by doing nothing. Now, you know how sometimes when people always are scared of, oh, uh, my vibrational frequency isn't at the same frequency as my manifestation. And you have to keep thinking about how can I, how can I consciously uh, think about my manifestation because you don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. So how can I become that frequency of my manifestation? And, but you know how you're consciously doing that? By doing what I'm sharing with you in this video, now you won't need to worry about that. Why is because you'll be resetting your default manifestation energy. And what I mean by that is the reason why my girlfriend was able to manifest that um, um, chunk of money in that short space of time, even while her conscious frequency wasn't at the heightened state of let's say, um, in a state when she wasn't having a heated discussion with her dad. You know what I mean? When you're in having a heated discussion, semi-argument, then sometimes your vibration does kind of lower, right? You sub sink down to those levels. But even in that moment where her vibration wasn't at the highest, it was like if she was meditating on top of the Himalayas, she was still able to manifest this thing. Why is this? Well, it comes down to two things. The first thing is what I'm sharing with you in this video, this, uh, this way that you can shift your default energy to manifest things, even while you're not consciously thinking about it. But two is also to recognize, and I wanna just say this here now, before I even get into the principle, because this will help everybody with whatever manifestation you're, you're working on. In this reality, in this lifeline, in this time and space, your manifestations work on a time delay. Now this is not like when people talk about astral projecting or lucid dreaming and you're in a dream and you realize that you're dreaming and now you can control the dream and now you can literally think of an elephant, see an elephant. Now you can think of um, France and you'll be in France. Now you can think of your favorite celebrity and they'll be there, right? What we call instant manifestation. In this reality, it works very differently, right? Similar in principle, but differently with the fact that there's a time delay. Now there's many reasons why this works. I'm not gonna get into the depths of the science or spiritual reasons why this happens, but for the purpose of this video, it's just worth knowing that it happens like that. Just like, for example, if you think a thought which turns into a action, which then turns into a result, aka you're walking on the street, you think, you know what, let me smile at, the stra at that stranger over there, right? So that's the thought. Now the action is you smiling. Now by you smiling, sending that love, sending that frequency out, the result is that stranger sees you and they smile back, right? Nine times out of 10, unless there's some like crazy person who doesn't like smiling or is dead against other humans. But most of the time they will smile back. So what is that? Thought, action, reality, result. But there's a delay because there's a delay in you thinking it. Once you think it, there's a delay in you doing the action. There's a delay in the person uh, responding. Now that is, even though that there's a delay there, it's still kind of a quick delay. You know what I mean? Because sometimes some manifestations might take 
days, might take weeks, might take months, might even take years in some cases, depending on the level of the manifestation and the difference between that manifestation reality and the current reality that you're embodying. But that's a different concept for a different video. The point being is that I want everyone on this video to register is that there is a delay. So just like when you're at that restaurant, you place that order with your waiter, you're not placing the order every one second asking the waiter, where's my order, where's my order, is it coming, is it coming, are we there yet, are we there yet? You place the order, you know that there's a process, you know that there's a delay, so what do you do? You get on with your actions. You carry on talking to your friend, your family, your partner, whoever you're at the restaurant with, maybe you're on your phone, maybe you're just present, enjoying the moment. Whatever you're doing, you get on with your life. Then you know that the manifestation will arrive, boom, your plate has arrived in 20, 30, 40 minutes. So it's the same thing for this is, Right now, I just want everyone to realize, even with this principle that I'm gonna share, yes, it can work fast. Yes, it can work in a sense where it just happens without you need to consciously think of it every, every moment of the day, but there's still a delay. So be open to that delay and say to yourself now, I trust the process, right? Put your hand on your heart, say it and feel it. I know you might look crazy if someone else is in the room, but at least say it in your mind, right? If you can put your hand on your heart, feel your heart vibration and say, I trust the process because there is a process to this. There is a process to your manifestation. So the main thing that I wanna share in this video is this one thing here. When it comes to manifestation, when it comes to living the, your dream life, when it comes to receiving what you want, what you desire, what you intend on having, we've all heard of the principles like visualization. We've all heard of visualization. But my question to you is, are you doing visualization correctly? You see, for me, for literally around over five years, I always heard people talk about visualization, talk about feel the feeling, talk about do it, talk about see it before it happens, talk about believing it. But what I always had a question was is, when I'm visually visualizing, do I visualize in like seeing me over there with that thing that I want? Do I visualize me actually seeing the thing from my perspective? Do I visualize the thing that I want? Just, just see that, don't even see me, don't even see me there. Don't even see me there, don't even see me here, but just see that thing. Do I visualize and just see like a list? Like, how do you visualize? Now, the reason why this is so powerful is because for me, for those years, like I said, manifestation would work here and there, right? Don't get me wrong, I was still manifesting. But it would almost seem like sometimes the big manifestations, the things that I really wanted, would always just be ahead of me. Now what I realize is what I was doing wrong. You see, our brains don't know the difference between this reality or this thing that we call reality between when we close our eyes we go to sleep and we start dreaming right science has shown this that your brain reacts to dreams the same way that it thinks that it's in this reality even you right now closing your eyes think of slicing a lemon in half okay see that lemon slice in half think of taking one of those halves with your hands and placing it on your tongue now what's happening Already your brain sending signals to your mouth to start salivating, right? Producing saliva. See, your brain doesn't know the difference. So when you're visualizing, what you're gonna wanna do is not see the visualization as an object. Is not see yourself over there and see yourself happy with that visualization. Why? Because then you're teaching your brain to see someone else. Yes, you might say, oh, but that someone else is me, but it's you in the third person, right? Because if you go deep, everybody's you. In this reality, that person that's striving over there is me. I am me, you are me, we are all one right if we talk about go deeper into spirituality but what you want to do in this physical experience you want to make sure that you are seeing the manifestation in your mind's eye whether you say your third eye your visualization your mind's eye your imagination you want to see it but from the perspective as if you are in your body experiencing it right now this isn't the main thing that i want to share this is just the first step that i want to make sure that everybody is clear on doing because if you do this step wrong then the main thing that i want to share isn't going to work anyway Okay, so first key thing that we shared is make sure that you're aware there's a time delay. Whatever you're manifesting, there will be a delay. The second key thing now is all to do with when you're visualizing, right? When you're manifesting things, seeing yourself, don't see yourself in third person. Don't see just the thing. See yourself actually living that manifestation. So if, for example, you are, um, you want to manifest, I don't know, a relationship, don't just see yourself with somebody or like a blur. See yourself in your body with somebody, doing something, whatever that thing is, whether you're going out somewhere, staying in somewhere, doing something. See it in your first person point of view, from these eyes, in your mind's eye. Then also, if it's for example money, let's say you're manifesting money. Now you're not just gonna see, maybe you're not gonna see just like a briefcase of money. You wanna see yourself at your bank and you can see all the digits on your bank statement, 
right? You want to see yourself doing things. If you had that money, what would you be doing? And this actually links to my, the second principle, the final thing that I want to share in this video, which is equally the most important thing. Whenever we hear about manifestation, whenever we hear about visualization, whenever we hear about law of attraction, people always say you don't manifest what you want, you manifest what you are, right? You manifest who you are, you manifest the frequency, the vibrational frequency that you are embodying, right? Because why? It's almost like a jigsaw piece. You at a certain frequency fit into the puzzle in a certain place. But by you changing your frequency, what that allows you to do now is change your puzzle piece. So now you don't just fit in here, let's say into the lack frequency, if you change your frequency to abundance, you fit into the abundance part of this, this reality, this construct, right? You shift into an alternate reality, what people call reality shifting. But the key thing now is when we talk about this, this final principle, what is it? It's all to do with when you're visualizing, you've heard people say, feel it. The problem that I used to face when I hear people say feel it, it's like, okay, feel it, let me feel it. So I'm, uh, let's say I want to manifest money. I'm feeling the money, so I'm feeling like, okay, yeah, I've got money, it feels good. But I'm not, I'm not going to lie here. When, when I was doing this, I don't know if you feel, this, feel similar. It's like, it almost feels kind of fake. Like you're, you're seeing it, but you kind of know that you don't have that now, but you, you need to tell yourself that you have that now. You need to feel it now. So you kind of just tell yourself, yeah, I feel it, it feels good. But if you actually think about how good you would feel, when you had that manifestation, it would be totally different because there's a difference in certainty, right? The person who's just sitting there thinking, yeah, it feels good, okay, yeah, this is cool, okay, yeah, this is good, thank you, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the person who's living it, who's like, yeah, that's mine, yeah, I have that, yeah, that's my life, yeah, that's, that's what I do every day. It's like a different level of certainty, why? It's because it's, because it's coming from this heart center, right? Because you can't trick your heart center. Your mind, you can kind of say, okay, let me visualize this, but your heart knows what is true. Have you heard that saying? Um, words can lie, but energy doesn't lie. Just like someone can come walk into a room and they don't, have, they don't even have to say anything, but you already pick up on the energy that they're not feeling the best, right? Why is that? It's because energy doesn't lie. They could be smiling. You ever had that with someone smiling, they're saying the right things, but you know, inside something's not right. Inside, they're feeling a certain way. Yes, we can say, okay, maybe, maybe you're an empath, which is probably the case, but even deeper than that is just knowing that energy doesn't lie. So how can we get it in a way where we're visualizing something, yet we're feeling the feeling, not lying, but feeling the feeling as if we have it. What do we need to do? We need to get your unconscious mind working with your conscious mind. What some people would call heart-brain coherence. Maybe you've heard Joe Dispenza talking about that heart-brain heart brain coherence, right? Not heart-brain, heart-brain coherence. Some people call it heart and mind unity. How do we do this? Well, you see your heart, your unconscious mind, right? They're very connected. They don't know exactly what it means when you say you want more money. It doesn't know when you say 100,000 pounds or a million dollars. It doesn't really know what that is. What it knows is the feeling behind it. What it knows is what are you feeling when you have that? So let me give you an example. The way that I managed to, to hack this was very simply finding out things. So let's say, for example, your manifestation. Let's say you say, I don't know, Let's say, for example, you say you want $100,000, right? For whatever reason, you just say $100,000. Now, actually, you don't want the $100,000. You want what that will give you. So if I ask you, and you do this for yourself, ask yourself, why do you want the $100,000? Now you might say, um, because if I have $100,000, I feel like I'm, I'm secure, I'm, set, I'm stable, right? Now we're getting a bit deeper. So notice you, you're not wanting $100,000, you're wanting security and stability. Now, if I ask you why again, you might say, um, because if I have that in my account, I'll be able to, I know that I'll be able to travel places while also kind of uh, investing my money, right? So, so that's another thing. So you know that you're stable, you're secure. So now you can travel to different places, but you can also invest money to make more money. So now I ask you, why do you want that? Why do you want to travel? Why do you want to invest money? Well, now you might say, I don't know, because I want to, I want to travel because I, I enjoy traveling. It makes me feel, makes me feel happy. Like seeing different places, seeing different experiences, having a good quality of life. It just makes me feel happy, right? Then investing more allows me to keep building that. So like I can still keep traveling, meeting new people, helping people just makes me feel good. Now, do you see by already asking three or four whys, we've gotten to a much deeper level of that hundred thousand dollars. And do you see already, this was just an example and make sure you do this for yourself. Either right now you can pause the video and just actually take a moment to think about it. Why, 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 until you get to that thing where you just feel it, you just know, I just want this, like this will just feel good. And for some of you, 
Maybe asking why two times or three times is enough. For others, you'll need to ask five or more times. But you ask enough times, you will get to that thing of that true happiness, that true joy, that true bliss, that true love, that true excitement. And then what you can do is you take that and now when you're thinking of that $100,000 or you're, or you're doing the actions every single day for that $100,000, watch this. This is, this is truly, truly powerful. First of all, when you're visualizing. Now when you visualize and you see that $100,000, what are you doing? You're visualizing in first person. You're seeing yourself living your life with that $100,000 traveling, right? You're feeling how that makes you feel, knowing that you've got that security in your bank account, knowing that you've got investments going in the back. And how does, how does that feel knowing that you've got $100,000 in your bank account, you've got more investment happening on the side that's building even more money, you're traveling the world. Notice how different that makes you feel compared to just thinking, I want $100,000. Notice the difference. So when you're visualizing, now you're feeling that feeling. Now you're, you're not lying and thinking, I want $100,000, it feels good. You're truly embodying that feeling in your heart center and shifting your frequency, shifting your puzzle to that abundance, to that manifestation. And this works for everything. This can work for love, this can work for health, this can work for everything. So if you've already done this, you paused the video and you thought about this, let me know in the comments, even now or at the end of the video once you've done this, what is the, what is the thing that you want but even better, what is the thing, what is the main reason why you want that? What is that thing, how does it make you feel? The reason why this is a hack is because you are tapping in to your primal energy states, right? This is not telling your subconscious mind I want money because your subconscious mind doesn't really know what money is. Your subconscious mind, your unconscious, your heart center knows what it, what it wants, what experiences it wants. So now you're tapping into that what truly it is and you're feeling it in your visualization. Also, why is it a hack? Is because when you're doing your day-to-day -day things, let's say, for example, if the, we stick with the $100,000 goal, you know that, okay, to acquire that, and maybe need to learn some business strategy, some online skills, maybe learn how to set up an Etsy store, dropshipping store, or affiliate market, or whatever it is, you know that you've got to learn some skill. Maybe it's real estate. When you're doing that, chances are if you're doing that, sometimes you, you go through phases of low motivation, high motivation, low motivation, high motivation, right? It's just natural. And the reason why that happens is because you're just looking at the small thing that you're, you're doing now. For example, watching a YouTube video about opening an Etsy store, right? Or for example, watching a YouTube video about how real estate works or taking notes or going to this seminar or going to this event. In those moments, sometimes it's easy to forget why you're doing this. But if when you're doing the action, let's say watching a video, taking notes, studying, going out there, hustling, right? Doing your, your full-time job, part-time job, whatever it is working towards your, your main goal in this monetary case, now what you gotta feel is you're not feeling that you're doing the thing just disconnected. You're feeling that you're doing that, feeling that feeling, knowing why you're doing that. Feeling that feeling of how good it feels to travel. Feeling that feeling of how good it feels to have money working for you. Feeling safe, feeling secure. Now do you see the difference is when you're doing that, now that motivation doesn't drop because it's a case where you're feeling that beautiful feeling in every moment to the point where it becomes your default energy state which is the exact thing that I spoke about at the beginning of this video, where I said, for example, myself and my girlfriend manifesting things even when we're not consciously thinking about it. This is why I'm so excited to share this with you is because it's changed the way that I see manifestations and how manifestations happen in my life. So I'm sure and I know it will change your life. Like I said, make sure in the comments, let me know what is the thing that you're manifesting and what is the deeper reason why? Make it a public declaration. It's been shown that by writing things down, making a public declaration, it increases your chances of manifesting. Also, if you got any value from this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe. But for now, let me just do a recap. First thing, be aware, there is a time delay in this reality. Trust the process, right? Re type it in the comments, I trust the process. Second thing now is when you're visualizing you're not just visualizing, seeing the thing over there, seeing the thing by itself, seeing it isolated. You're visualizing yourself in first person, embodying that experience as if you have that manifestation already. Now when it comes to feeling it in that visualization, or when you're doing the day-to-day -day activities, right, leading up, which every day you're doing stuff, just like when you order from that waiter, you're not just sitting, standing next to the waiter, when's it gonna happen? You're carrying on with your stuff. But when you're carrying on with your day-to-day -day activities, you're feeling that feeling of, that deeper why, that deeper reason. Now when you're just doing casual stuff like sitting here recording a video with you guys, I'm feeling my manifestation, I'm feeling like it's already done because it is already done, right? I'm feeling that beautiful feeling and you guys can probably already feel that. Same for you, when you're, even if you're going to a shop, ordering something, 
you're gonna be feeling that feeling on a much deeper level, right? So now you're shifting your frequency from that jigsaw piece here to the jigsaw piece here, where now you're fitting into that reality, shifting realities because you are already vibrating at that frequency. So I trust this hack helped you because it has certainly has helped me tremendously over the last couple of years, well, especially this last year, and I know that it will help you too, too. So if you got any value from this, make sure to hit the like button, leave some comments, let me know what you're manifesting, what's the deeper reason why. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, namaste, peace.